So hi, Micro Hunter here. Look uh, what I got. Uh, this is a phase uh, contrast uh, condenser. Um, I got it uh, today. Um, it was uh, sold to me by one of the viewers who watched one of my previous videos. Because if you watch my previous video, then um, I actually mentioned that there is a compatibility problem that I have because I bought myself a new phase contrast objective and I couldn't get it to work. The reason is, is because over here, this is the second, uh, that's the, my old, that's my old uh, condenser and uh, it didn't work uh, with uh, the objective that I have here so um, I now have the new one here and this one works fine I'm, I'm quite happy uh, with that um, and uh, what I'm gonna do in this video is, is the following I'm gonna show you now um, the same pictures using bright field and also face contrast so that you can see the difference um, and uh, also um, later on I'm going to for those of you who don't know what face contrast microscopy is I'm also gonna give you a very short description and uh, right now also a short uh, description of this condenser here um, it actually has uh, four functions if you look uh, down here you, by uh, rotating the turret here you can switch uh, the functions well of course this one here is the regular bright field and um, yeah that's the condenser uh, diaphragm here just the conventional bright field I have a, a dark field uh, patch stop here and I've got two phase annuli so these two things here um, are for the 10 times and the 40 times phase uh, contrast uh, objective and uh, right now I only have the 10 times I'm still waiting for the 40 times uh, phase contrast objective to arrive and uh, basically what you have to do is, is you have to rotate the, this bottom part here and then uh, you're able to view the picture, the, the image in phase contrast or in bright field or in dark field. So it's actually very convenient. I uh, don't have to take uh, off uh, the filter holder of the condenser to put a, a filter in there. I simply can ro rotate the turret here and uh, it's going to work. So very convenient. Um, and uh, I'm, I was very, I'm very happy uh, with the results. So, um, and especially I'm very happy also with the result concerning my cheek cells so I took off some cheek cells and uh, put it uh, yeah. under the microscope using bright field and face contrast so at the very end uh, I'm going to show you how it looks in face contrast and I was very happy with the result um, yeah so let's get started uh, and I'm going to start with unpacking and uh, with uh, connecting the face contrast uh, condenser to my microscope so the condenser is an original Olympus uh, condenser, a little bit difficult to find uh, these days, uh, of course, uh, because it's not uh, manufactured anymore. Um, to my surprise, made fully of plastic. Uh, my other condenser, which was older, was actually fully made of metal, but it doesn't matter because uh, it actually works quite well. These were the screws for centering, and this now is the condenser aperture diaphragm. Here are the phase annuli. Um, for the two different objectives um, and uh, there is also the dark field uh, patch stop. Okay, I'm now removing the old condenser and I'm putting in now the new one. Um, now you can actually see the screws uh, for centering uh, of the condenser much better. Yeah, this one is my regular bright field objective, uh, achromatic 10 times. I'm now removing it. And uh, next to it on the left side is the phase contrast condenser. And you can see now the phase ring. This phase ring is absolutely essential for phase contrast. And this phase ring size must match with the condenser. PL stands for positive low uh, and that actually means it's a phase contrast. I put in uh, here the centering telescope as it's called or the Bertrand lens and now I'm turning the screws of the condenser to center the objective and uh, the condenser to get them aligned so to say. That's in bright field, a water sample and I'm going to switch over directly to phase contrast now to also show you how it looks like in phase contrast and here we go, that is now phase contrast. And maybe you have not noticed, or maybe you did, but look um, at the liquid, not at the algae, but at the liquid, and you see those dark dots, small dark dots. These are bacteria, and these are now visible as dark dots on a brighter background. In bright field, the bacteria are not as easily visible. Again here, look at the background, um, and you are barely able to see the bacteria because they're very transparent, but in phase contrast now, Look here, here, now they are very well visible, especially on the left side. Okay, so that is uh, essentially the, the objective, or the, no pun intended, the objective of phase contrast is to convert um, a difference in refractive index into um, a, an amplitude, amplitude difference, into a difference in brightness. Here again, here the bacteria are a little bit better visible, bright field, and again, switching over to phase contrast, and here, that's phase contrast. The structure that you see on the right side here, that seems to be some kind of a crystal, I don't, but I don't uh, quite know exactly. Yeah, but now the bacteria are very clearly visible moving around.
yeah and uh, this one here is now a little bit bigger but uh, not because I changed the objective but uh, I cropped in a little bit and now the bacteria are much uh, better visible as dark dots are moving around Okay, now a little bit of theory. Um, I'm going to explain you now what phase contrast is. Okay, and now uh, what is now phase contrast? A very, very quick uh, introduction for those of you who are new to this. Uh, it is a imaging technique or contrasting technique that allows you to see transparent specimens much better. Um, um, a guy called uh, Fritz Zernicke, he was a Danish physicist. He received the Nobel Prize in 1953 because he invented the phase contrast microscope. And uh, if you want to buy a microscope, and then uh, sometimes you will see that uh, the more expensive microscopes, sometimes they actually will say it's a phase contrast uh, microscope. And uh, basically what it does is the following. Um, you need a phase contrast objective. Um, yeah, I've got one here. Um, a phase contrast condenser, of course, and then together what they will do is they will convert a difference in refractive index into a brightness difference. The physics, I'm not going to talk about. This is kind of advanced. I made separate videos on this. Um, but essentially, it allows you to see specimens that are transparent much better. It converts the optics, somehow converts the um, a difference in refractive index into brightness. So bacteria that are normally transparent and clear, they will appear darker on a light background. So um, you actually can make things visible that you normally would not be able to see um, as well. Um, so uh, the thing, however, is also that uh, you can use, of course, also a phase contrast objective. You can use also for a regular bright field. That is possible. All you have to do is you've got to change this to bright field here, start rotating the turret. And then you have a regular bright field. Um, there is a small loss in image quality, however, because of the so-called the phase ring, which you can see um, inside uh, the uh, objective. But that I would say is uh, um, the topic of a separate video. So I'm going to now continue and I'm going to show you some more pictures uh, in under phase contrast. A permanent slide. Um, this, uh, these are starch grains of a wheat grain. So this is a commercial permanent slide and in phase contrast again, looks much nicer. Now the individual starch grains also have a little bit more texture and uh, now again uh, cropped in a little bit and now the starch grains are yet better visible. And uh, you might also notice that the structures have a bright halo around them and that is typical for phase contrast. Again bright field, these are radiolarians and uh, that's uh, their shell made out of glass, out of silica. Yeah, again, uh, looks uh, quite nice uh, here. Um, and what I've decided now is I also uh, tried out a uh, dark field right now because uh, they also look quite nice uh, in dark field. And yeah, that's the dark field image here. And I'm focusing back and forth because uh, the object is a little bit thick and therefore it's not possible for me to get all levels in focus at the same time. Yeah, next one. These are so-called uh, trichomes. Uh, these are plant here um, and uh, Again, here now in phase contrast. So yeah, I, I like doing this switching back and forth. I think you get the point. Uh, yeah, again, dark field. So the idea in f with phase contrast is, is you have to understand that not all specimens are suitable, um, okay? Um, there are certain specimens that simply work better than others. A phase contrast does take color away a little bit because it superimposes um, yeah, um, brightness and darkness uh, and therefore the actual color goes away a little bit, uh, the natural color. Um, but that's something that you simply have to be uh, um, aware of here. Again, bright field and uh, in phase contrast. Yeah, but uh, certain structures are uh, much better visible. That's my favorite part now. These are cheek cells, those that I promised you before. Um, they're kind of, uh, yeah, I added water, that's why they're kind of floating around. And I think they look especially nice in phase contrast. And here we go. Here, that's phase contrast, look at this. Um, and if you look carefully into the cells, then you can also see the nuclei, and the nucleus in each cell, um, which is also visible quite well. Yeah, as I mentioned before, the halo, the individual cells seem to have this uh, bright uh, halo around them. That is very typical for phase contrast. It's an artifact. Um, some people don't like that because that's not the way that the objects appear in nature. Um, but uh, it still increases uh, the contrast and therefore makes certain structures uh, more easily visible. And it does look nice. I mean, that's uh, for the sake of a YouTube channel. That's uh, also one of the important things that the objects that you look at, that they look a little bit impressive and nice. 
So that's it, folks. I hope you liked it. Uh, do consider subscribing if you uh, want to support the channel. I also have uh, an Amazon affiliate web shop. Uh, please have a look there. Try to support the channel by visiting the shop as well. And uh, of, co of course, also have a Patreon uh, page and a GoFundMe page. All of the descriptions are below. I want to thank you again, and I want you wish I want to wish you a happy microbe hunting as always. And bye bye. See you around next time. Bye bye.